Hi Muskies, I'm back again for week five of my virtual book talks. I have three new books for you today, and all of them are available for you to start reading today as free ebooks on Mac and Via. Um, also, if you're looking for a physical book to read, Muster Public Library just started offering curbside pickup. Um, you can find more information on their website, and I'll link it below. So the first book I have for you today is a romance novel called The Geography of Me and You by Jennifer E. Smith. So Lucy lives on the 24th floor and Owen lives in the basement. It's fitting then that they meet in between, stuck on an elevator between two floors of a New York City apartment building during a blackout. After their rescue, Lucy and Owen spend the rest of the night together wandering around the dark streets and marveling at the stars over Manhattan. But once the power is back, they go back to reality. Lucy moves abroad with her parents and Owen and his dad head out to the western United States. The brief time they spend together leaves a mark. As their lives take them from Edinburgh to San Francisco to Prague to Portland, Lucy and Owen stay in touch through letters and postcards and occasional email and phone calls. But can they, despite all odds, keep up a long-distance relationship? So this love story begins with a meet-cute on the very first page, and it will keep readers engaged through the entire story. Um, readers who love Sarah Destin's romance novels were especially love books by Jennifer E. Smith. Um, this really is a fun read, and if the weather gets warmer, this would be a great one for you to read by the pool or on a beach. The second book I have for you today is another narrative nonfiction. So this is called Outcast United, the story of a refugee soccer team that changed a town. It's by Warren St. John. So this is actually the young people's version of an adult bestseller. Uh, Coach Luma Mufla um, founded a youth soccer team comprised of children from Liberia, Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere um, in the refugee settlement of Clarkston, Georgia. So this brought the children together to discover their common bonds and to help them adjust to their life in the United States. So Luma Muffla is a young Jordan woman um, educated in the United States and working as a private coach for a youth soccer team in Atlanta. Um, she was out for a drive one day and she ended up in Clarkson, Georgia, where she saw um, a bunch of young boys, black, brown, white, most of them without shoes on, playing soccer on every flat surface they could find. Uh, Luma decided to quit her job and to move to Clarkson and to start a soccer team um, that would soon defy the odds. Despite the challenges they faced, like no practice field, very minimal funding for um, equipment or uniforms, and zero fans on the sidelines because a lot of the parents of the students had to work on multiple jobs to survive, um, the refugees practiced hard and demonstrated a team spirit that drew admiration from referees and from others in their field. So Outcast United, this book, explores how a community changed with the influx of refugees, um, but also how the dedication of this coach and the entire soccer team helped change the community. Uh, this book is a must-read for any soccer fan. Um, it has exciting moments on the pitch with lots of sports action, but it also has harrowing, harrowing stories about the countries that these refugees came from, um, as well as, as the political and social struggles that they face while here in the United States. Um, it also is a pretty short book, um, so it is an easy read and one that you should check out today. The last book I have for you today is a historical fiction book. It is Salt to the Sea by Rita Septis. Um, and she is a phenomenal author who writes historical fiction and tells astounding stories about little-known events in recent history. Um, so in this story, each of the main characters was born in a different homeland. Each one is haunted and hunted by tragedy, lies, and war. Um, they're one of the thousands of desperate refugees flocking to the coast as the Soviets advance. Four paths converge, vying for passage aboard the Wilhelm Gustloff, a ship that promises safety and freedom, yet all promises cannot be kept. Um, inspired by the single greatest tragedy in maritime history, best-selling author Rita Septis uh, lifts the veil on a shockingly little-known casualty of World War II. So like I said, this takes place in um, the winter of 1945, four refugees, and the four stories. So Salt to the Sea is told in alternating points of view, something I know that so many of our readers love. Um, and it tells the story of these four young adults um, aboard a shipwreck that was six times deadlier than the Titanic. So she is a fantastic award-winning author, um, and two of her books that we have in our library, both this one and Between Shades of Grey, are always out. It's hard to find them. So this is a great one to read while you have it as a free ebook on Mac and Via and as an audiobook. That's it. Uh, again, all three of these books are available uh, as ebooks to start reading today on Mac and Via, and Salt of the Sea is also available as an audiobook. 
Don't forget to check out the Muskie Library website for updated resource links and for a link to the Muscatine Teacher Librarians Reading the Track series by Jason Reynolds. The first three books are available this week. If you want real books, make sure you go to the Muster Public Library website to learn about their curbside pickup. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you're reading, and I will see you back next week.